We've downloaded and installed the Bluefish editor. Now let's have a look at using it. Open Bluefish by double clicking the Bluefish shortcut on your desktop. Recall that our XAMPP server is called localhost. Well, the home page for this localhost server is located in a subdirectory of the XAMPP directory called htdocs. Navigate to the htdocs directory and right click on it. Starting with the C drive, expand it, find the XAMPP directory and expand that. Under that, find the htdocs directory and right click on it. Choose the option Set as Baster. This sets Bluefish to open to the home page directory each time we start it up. Recall that the home page, index.php, simply redirects us to the XAMPP home page. Now let's rename this current home page since we do want access to it in the future but we don't want to use it as our home page. Right click on index.php and select rename. Overtype the word index with XAMPP homepage so that the name of the file reads as XAMPP homepage.php and click save. Now on your browser open the localhost homepage. Remember you bookmarked this earlier. Bookmarks. Localhost homepage. Right click. Open in a new tab. It works. Or well, where did that come from? Let's go back to the Bluefish editor and see. Notice the other index file, index.html. This is an alternative home page file, except it's in HTML instead of PHP. Double click on this file, and you'll see why we got the It Works home page. Apache looks in the home directory for an index file and renders its contents if it finds one. It'll choose the PHP version first and the HTML version if it can't find a PHP file. For now, We'll just look at a very small selection of the features of this powerful editor. Notice that the bulk of the page is divided into the files and folders tree on the left and the script window on the right. You can have many scripts open at the same time and the names of these appear in the open files tab bar below the script window. So for example, I can double click on examphomepage.php and I will have two files open indicated in the open files tab bar at the bottom and I can switch from one to the other.